Hello and welcome to this first video of about 13 of the 2018 to 2022 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool. My name is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK, here on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club located in Southern Illinois. Uh, first off, before we start these slides, they will cover the entire technician class pool which is currently in effect uh, just a reminder that the answers are all going to be the same they might just be in a different order on your test so as you're studying these try not to memorize that they're a b c or d remember which one is the correct answer and not the letter all right today's topic is sub-element T1A and T1B. Sub-element T1 includes the FCC rules, descriptions, and definitions for the amateur radio service, as well as operator and station license responsibilities. Six exam questions come from this sub-element from the six groups. This first segment is covering T1A and T1B. The first area we're going to cover is sub-element T1A, which is the amateur radio service purpose and permissible use of the amateur radio service, operator and primary station license grant, meanings of basic terms used in FCC rules, interference, FCC races rules, phonetics, and frequency coordinators. First question, T1A01, which of the following is a purpose of the amateur radio service as stated in the FCC rules and regulations? A. Providing personal radio communications for as many citizens as possible. B. Providing communications for international non-profit organizations. C. Advancing skills in the technical and communication phases of the radio art. Or D. All of these choices are correct. The correct answer is C. Advancing skills in the technical and communication phases of the radio art. T1A02. Which agency regulates and enforces the rules for the amateur radio service in the United States? A. FEMA B. Homeland Security C. The FCC or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is C. The FCC T1A03 What are the FCC rules regarding the use of a phonetic alphabet for station identification in the amateur radio service. A. It is required when transmitting emergency messages. B. It is prohibited. C. It is required when in contact with foreign stations. Or D. It is encouraged. Correct answer is D. It is encouraged. T1A04. How many operator primary station license grants may be held by any one person. A. 1. B. No more than 2. C. 1 for each band on which the person plans to operate. D. 1 for each permanent station location from which the person plans to operate. The correct answer is A. 1. T1A05. What is proof of possession of an FCC issued operator primary license grant. A. A printed operator primary station license issued by the FCC must be displayed at the transmitter site. B. The control operator must have an operator primary station license in his or her possession when in control of a transmitter. C. The control operator's Operator primary station license must appear in the FCC ULS Consolidated Licensee Database. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is C. The control operator's operator primary station license must appear in the FCC ULS Consolidated Licensee Database. 
T1A09, what is the FCC Part 97 definition of a beacon? A. A government transmitter m marking the amateur radio band edges. B. A bulletin sent by the FCC to announce a national emergency. C. An amateur station transmitting communications for the purpose of observing propagation or related experimental activities. Or D. A continuous transmission of weather information authorized in the amateur bands by the National Weather Service. Correct answer is C. An amateur station transmitting communications for the purposes of observing propagation or related experimental activities. T1A07. What is the FCC Part 97 definition of a space station? A. Any satellite orbiting the Earth. B. A manned satellite orbiting the Earth. C. An amateur station located more than 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Or D. An amateur station using amateur radio satellites for relay of signals. Correct answer is C. An amateur station located more than 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. T1A08. Which of the following entities recommends transmit and receive channels and other parameters for auxiliary and repeater stations? A. A frequency spectrum manager appointed by the FCC. B. Volunteer frequency coordinator recognized by local amateurs. C. FCC Regional Field Office or D. International Telecommunications Union Correct answer is B. Volunteer Frequency Coordinator recognized by local amateurs. T1A09. Who selects a frequency coordinator? A. The FCC Office of Spectrum Management and Coordination Policy B. The local chapter of the Office of National Council of Independent Frequency Coordinators C. Amateur operators in a local or regional area whose stations are eligible to be repeater or auxiliary stations. Or D. FCC Regional Field Office. Correct answer is C. Amateur operators in a local or regional area whose stations are eligible to be repeater or auxiliary stations. T1A10. Which of the following describes the Radio Amateur Civil Emergency Service? also known as RACES. A. A radio service using amateur frequencies for emergency management or civil defense communications. B. A radio service using amateur stations for emergency management or civil defense communications. C. An emergency service using amateur operators certified by a civil defense organization as being enrolled in that organization. Or D, all of these choices are correct. The correct answer is D, all of these choices are correct. T1A11, what, when is willful interference to other amateur radio stations permitted? A, to stop another amateur station which is breaking the FCC rules. B, at no time. C, when making short tr test transmissions. D, at any time. Stations in the amateur radio service are not protected from willful interference. Correct answer is B, at no time. All right, moving to sub-element T1B, authorized frequencies, frequency allocations, ITU, emissions modes, restricted subbands, spectrum sharing, transmissions near band edges, contacting the International Space Station, and power output. T1B01, what is the International Telecommunications Union, abbreviated ITU? A, an agency of the United States Department of Telecommunications Management. B, a United Nations agency for information and communications technology issues. C, an independent frequency coordination a agency. Or D, a department of the FCC. Correct answer is B, a United Nations Agency for Information and Communications Technology Issues. T1B02, which amateur radio stations may make contact with an amateur radio station on the International Space Station using 2 meter and 70 centimeter band frequencies? 
A. Only members of amateur radio clubs at NASA facilities. B. Am any amateur holding a technician or higher class license. C. Only the astronauts' family members who are hams. Or D. Contacts with the ISS are not permitted on amateur radio frequencies. The correct answer is B. Any amateur holding a technician or higher class license. T1B03, which frequency is within the 6 meter amateur band? A. 49.00 MHz B. 52.525 MHz C. 28.50 MHz or D. 222.15 MHz Correct answer is B. 52.525 MHz. T1B04. Which amateur band are you using when your station is transmitting on 146.52 MHz? A. 2 meter band. B. 20 meter band. C. 14 meter band. Or D. 6 meter band. Correct answer is A. 2 meter band. T1B05, what is the limitation for emissions on the frequencies between 219 and 220 megahertz? A. Spread spectrum only. B. Fixed message, fixed digital message forwarding systems only. C. Emergency traffic only. Or D. Fast scan television only. Correct answer is B. Fixed digital message forwarding systems only. T1B06, on which HF bands does a technician class operator have phone privileges? A, none. B, 10 meter only. C, 80, 40, 15, and 10 meter bands. Or D, 30 meter band only. Correct answer is B, 10 meter band only. T1B07, which of the following VHF, UHF frequency ranges are limited to CW only? A, 50.0 MHz to 50.1 MHz and 144.0 MHz to 144.1 MHz. B, 219 MHz to 220 MHz and 420.0 MHz to 420.1 MHz. C, 902.0 MHz to 902.1 MHz, or D, all of these choices are correct. Correct answer is A, which is 50.0 MHz to 50.1 MHz and 144.0 MHz to 144.1 MHz. T1B08, which of the following is a result of the fact that the amateur radio service is secondary in all or portions of some amateur bands, such as portions of the 70 centimeter band? A. U.S. amateurs may find non-amateur stations in those portions and must avoid interfering with them. B. U.S. amateurs must give foreign amateur stations priority in these portions. C. International communications are not permitted in those portions. Or D. Digital transmissions are not permitted in those portions. Correct answer is A. U.S. amateurs may find non-amateur stations in those portions and must avoid interfering with them. T1B09. Why should you not set your transmit frequency to be exactly at the edge of an amateur band or subband? A. To allow for calibration error in the transmitter frequency display. B. So that modulation sidebands do not extend beyond the band edge. C. To allow for transmitter frequency drift. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T1B10. Which of the following HF bands have frequencies available to the technician class operator for RTTY and data transmissions? A. 10 meter. 12 meter. 17 meter and 40 meter bands, B, 10 meter, 15 meter, 40 meter, and 80 meter bands, C, 30 meter band only, or D, 10 meter band only. Correct answer is D, 10 meter band only. 
T1B11, what is the maximum peak envelope power output for technician class operators using their assigned portions of the HF bands? A. 200 watts. B. 100 watts. C. 50 watts. Or D. 10 watts. The correct answer is A. 200 watts. T1B12, except for some specific restrictions, what is the maximum peak envelope power output for technician class operators using frequencies above 30 megahertz? A, 50 watts, B, 100 watts, C, 500 watts, or D, 1500 watts? Correct answer is D, 1500 watts. All right, that concludes the first series of slides. These slides may be used for non-commercial use for amateur radio license preparation and amateur radio classes, provided you reference the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club as a developer. We also ask that you reference our website, http colon forward slash forward slash www.claycountyradio.webs.com. Thank you.